The Pacific Tsunami Warning Center has issued a tsunami warning not just for Japan, once again for Russia as well, Marcus Island, North. Another tsunami is hitting Miyagi Prefecture, Sendai, Japan, and it looks like that tsunami wave is moving upstream rapidly. Live coverage from our helicopter up in northern Miyagi Prefecture, we're at tsunami, obviously coming in several sweeps, hitting Miyagi Prefecture, Sendai, Japan, Sendai area. A large part of the city has been struck, engulfed by this tsunami, farms being washed away along with houses. We don't know the extent of the damage in buildings in Tokyo in surrounding areas. Last power soon after the quake, there has also been a massive power failure in the area hit hard by the quake in the northeastern part of the country. This is from our camera reporter in Miyagi. And it looks, and it looks like the tsunami has engulfed several cities in Miyagi Prefecture. Live footage of Miyagi as the tsunami has struck the area, obviously engulfing farms, homes, alongside the river. In Sendai City, this is, in Miyagi Prefecture, tsunami, live coverage of tsunami engulfing this Sendai area in Miyagi Prefecture. This is after a major earthquake hitting Japan Friday afternoon. Japan. Obviously, cars, trucks, you can see some of the uh, tsunami, and it looks like some fire breaking out in in, Senda, in the Sendai area after the tsunami has hit. Major earthquake that was revised at magnitude 8.4. One of the largest earthquakes ever to hit Japan. The tsunami has already engulfed some cities. Fire is breaking out due to the earthquake. In northeastern Japan's Iwate Prefecture, tsunami waves of over four meters were observed soon after the quake. The agency is in the Sendai area, Miyagi Prefecture, north of Japan. For those of you who have just tuned in to NHK World, a major earthquake hit Japan Friday afternoon about an hour ago, hour and ten minutes ago. Japan's Meteorological Agency says the quake measured magnitude 8.4. It has revised it upwards to 8.4. The agency has issued a tsunami warning for Japan's Pacific coast. In northeastern Japan's Iwate Prefecture, tsunami waves of over 4 meters were observed soon after the quake. The agency is warning that the tsunami could reach between 6 and 10 meters. Currently contacting local governments and related agency to assess the extent of the damage. Tsunami has already struck, and you, you can see some of the damages so far in Miyagi Prefecture, northern Japan, and the Sendai area, but also for Russia. We're back to live coverage from our helicopter in Miyagi Prefecture, Sendai, northern Japan. That looks like the Sendai airport almost completely flooded from several tsunamis that has hit the area. Our helicopter is also at Miyagi Prefecture covering live the Sendai area where obviously a large tsunami has hit on area engulfing big parts of the city airport in northern Japan are still closed on an NHK helicopter obviously some fire in Chiba prefecture breaking out on an oil refinery in Chiba prefecture north a large fire breaking out of an oil refinery in Chiba Prefecture, an oil refinery in Chiba Prefecture in Ishihara area.